<laughs> Server 2025 dropped GA. Yes. Recently. Recently. Uh, Technically, what? it was available the first of the year, but only if you had special licensing. Now it's available for everyone. It is. And it actually has some pretty cool features. Mm -hmm. There's a ton of stuff, uh, but we picked some of our favorites. Yes. Right. Um, so I'm just going to say this. Visually, it, you can't really tell that much. It has a real Windows 11 flair is what I'll say. You can yeah, tell. it's it's server 2022 with the Windows 11 facelift. Pretty much. But, but cool yeah. features. Cool features, yeah. That. So yeah. we're going to talk about the features. Okay. Um, so first one. Patching. Yes, hot patching. So essentially it means if you don't want to reboot your servers, which you know can be kind of scary at times, you don't have to. It'll mm -hmm. still update it. So instead of doing... Reboots 12 times a year, you just do them four times a year now. That's essentially. That's yeah, and it, it's it's an opt-in, and it's also, like, there's very specific criteria. Like, mm -hmm. some, it's still Windows, so there's still some stuff that does require a reboot. And yes. like Rachel said, welcome to this century, because others that shall not be named have been doing this for quite a while. Yes. But it's nice to finally see it in Windows. Yeah, exactly. Next up. Uh, so I'm going to say the majority of the cool features in this OS upgrade have to do with the security enhancements yes. and and specifically Active Directory. So we just highlighted a few of them here. Um, I can't actually see that, Josh. You can see yep. it better than yeah, I can. Yeah, so, so LDAP now supports TLS 1.3. Mm -hmm. um, LDAP is going to prefer encryption by default. This yes. is the first time that it's changed that. Um, and, and we're going to start seeing some other new things that kind of play into this as we go to like the next couple slides here. Um, so next up, like Active Directory has some significant upgrades mm -hmm. um, yes. for very large environments where this makes a difference. Uh, the the DB has increased page sizes, mm -hmm. so it's faster. Yep. Um, More secure. You've got to be in a big environment to see this, but it's also cool to see it. But because of that, we are seeing a new force functional level change mm -hmm. um, to this. And you'll when you start seeing the force function level changes, they're schema additions, mm -hmm. and they also make pay for new features in the future, right? So because of the database upgrade and then other additional features, you are going to have to raise that force functional level. Um, with this also yeah. comes credential card. Yes. On by default. Yep, now, on by default Like now. most people, it was recommended to go turn mm -hmm. it on, but now it's just on if you're net new. And for the local users, that's the big change. Yes. Also... At the, which I think was interesting is put as a footnote here. NTLM is on its way to deprecation and eventual renewal. Mm. Like it was a matter of time, but it's fun to see that they're actually calling it out that NTLM has got to go. Yeah. And this is actually, you'll see this in Active Directory when you expand out the user pane. Mm -hmm. You can actually see these checkboxes. So um, they, you can go and turn them on yep. if you want to. This is your favorite. I you think really this like is this really one. cool. So this was available in Server 2022 specifically. Uh, Azure Edition, mm -hmm. they had this. Um, there's a laundry list of requirements for this feature, but if you meet them, it's really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, so basically, it's tunneling this SMB traffic over an HTTPS protocol. Mm -hmm. So if you still have map drives, if you're still having users do that, uh, this eliminates the need for the VPN. Yeah. So it starts to treat uh, your local file system shares mm -hmm. like a OneDrive. Yeah. Right. So you map it. Um, you've, you've got to be running the, the latest version of Windows Server 2025. You have to have PKI infrastructure. It, it's a long thing, uh, but it's really, really cool. And it's yep. available in all editions now from standard up through Azure Edition. Yeah. Um, the SMB security improvements are, are great. Uh, most of us have been doing these things mm -hmm. for a while, but it's nice to see Microsoft finally just turn them on by default. Yep. Uh, so turning on signing... Um, that's going to, you know, kind of stop like phishing or attacker in the middle type stuff. We're going to throttle the rate that we can throw in TLM hashes at things. Um, and then those old NetBIOS ports, they're like off. And that just works hand in hand with the SMB over quick so that it's secure. Right? Well, yeah. So this is like when you're not tunneling over quick and you're actually SMB, that's what's happening here mm. in the local LAN. Okay. Do we have any other ones or are those the only ones we I chat think about? that ends us for the server 2025 changes. There's, okay. there's a huge list of them, but these are the ones that, that I thought were interesting. Thanks for watching this segment from PDQ Live. If you like this, you'll love the full show. Check it out every Thursday at 10 a.m. Mountain. Oh, and like and subscribe, please. <laughs>